Apparently they had a dress rehearsal with this native girl eating the lipstick because when she opens her mouth, you can see that her tongue is already red as well as part of her upper lip. Here they needed a way to make it look like this blind was being pulled up. The blind is on the inside of the hut, and yet when it rolls up, they have Gilligan pretend like he's pulling some kind of a rope on the outside to make it go up. But when he's done pulling, it still goes up another few inches. Murai Farms is an actual company that was established in Santa Ala, California in 1964, so at this time it was not a very old company. This is an old standard prop gag. They've used it for a long time and they used it once in an episode of I Love Lucy. I'll do this frame by frame. You'll see as the chief throws the knife, he never lets go of it. And if you see frame by frame, the knife comes out of the tree backward. But when you do this gag quick enough, it's very convincing. Note a very large boom shadow here on the left. And down here at the bottom, you can see a coconut cup that's totally loaded with styrofoam cups for some reason. I had pointed out in some earlier black and white episodes that the coconut cups do often look like they have a styrofoam cup in them, probably so that the cast members didn't have to drink directly from the cup. This is a good one found by David Calderola. Notice this target here, which is painted and could either be spray painted or brush painted. And then as the scene pulls out, we see it was spray painted because here's the spraying equipment. This is a compressed air sprayer, the kind you pump up yourself. And at some point you'd have to hook on some kind of a paint attachment. Here it looks like it's still just hooked onto the wand. And also when I brighten this picture up, in addition to the sprayer, it looks like in the back there's some kind of a little metal table or shelf that maybe they were using when they were doing the spraying. This is a really good effect here with this spear. One way they could have done this would have been to film it in reverse, except if so, when the spear leaves the tree, you don't see any kind of a hole that it would have been stuck in. In addition, I don't see any wires or strings pulling the spear in either direction. Notice this microphone boom shadow to the right on this palm frond. Here's a stage mark T down here. It's not used in this particular shot, so it might be set up for later. 